Hi, I'm Brent Dodge, owner of Alpine Physical Therapy. This week's podcast, I want to introduce you to some brand new technology that we're using at Alpine called Functional Dry Needling. And I'm going to explain the history of it. I'm going to talk about how we're using it in the clinic and some of the findings that we're experiencing with a variety of patients and different orthopedic conditions that I think would be helpful for you to know about as you learn about this this relatively new technology at Alpine. Dry needling has been used internationally for about 40 years. Uh, It made its way to the United States about 12, 13 years ago. And in the state of Montana, physical therapists uh, did not dry needle up until about a year ago when the Board of Medical Examiners uh, explained that this was part of our scope of care. So we've begun uh, pursuing as a clinic, we began looking at where to go to get our training. Uh, We talked with different physician groups to see what their thoughts were on on uh, this type of treatment. And everything was a thumbs up and so uh, at Alpine we uh, focused on the training component and went to a group called Kineticore uh, who has trained over a thousand physical therapists in the use of functional dry needling. Uh, The coursework was very thorough and one of the key areas that we uh, looked at was the safety aspect of using thin filament needles to uh, tremendously impact the musculoskeletal system. So you may be wondering what dry needling is and I would suggest to you that it's the use of a thin filament needle. Um, Actually, it's the same as an acupuncturist might use, but I want you to know that dry needling is not itself acupuncture. Dry needling requires an orthopedic examination of the musculoskeletal and nervous systems to make a determination on what muscle points we want to work with a thin filament needle. And in so doing, we're able to Uh, change the function of that muscle, albeit immediately. And I'm going to explain how that works in just a little bit. So in the state of Montana, we've we've been approved to apply this form of treatment. Our therapists at Alpine are gaining their their training through Kineticore. We have three people trained so far and two in the wings. Uh, We hope to have our entire team trained in this, this new and helpful technology. Dry needling is the use of the thin thin filament needle placed through a muscle and in so doing what you end up having is a muscle that's been perhaps tight or short through injury or uh, disease or illness and you're able to get an immediate change in the way that the muscle works because the needle can actually disrupt the integrity where the nerve meets the group of motor fibers which is called a motor unit. Once that happens and that needle enters that point you take a dysfunctional muscle or um, group of muscle fibers and you begin to get immediate healing because you shut off the flow of chemical that's coming from the nerve which is called acetylcholine. Acetylcholine is what takes those proteins within the muscle and ratchets them together to create a shortening of that muscle. When there's injury, illness, disease, sometimes that won't release and you get a continual flow of that chemical acetylcholine and therefore you do not get the release of that area and you end up with what's called a trigger point. Notably, trigger points when pressed can refer pain that is familiar to the patient and can refer these these, um, pain responses into very specific locations that have been mapped out. So it's very helpful for the practitioner to know what these referral patterns look like and to be able to treat these active trigger points. There are also latent trigger points in which a person doesn't even realize he or she has a trigger point in the area and these latent trigger points will reproduce pain upon deep pressure and these can also be treated with uh, dry needling. We call it functional dry needling because we're not interested in just placing a needle within a muscle for the sake of the muscle. We're interested in the overall function of the muscle. We're interested in the overall function of the client. So we do a lot of testing both before, during, and after uh, just to make sure that we're on the right track with where we're placing the needles, the response that we're getting during the treatment, and then to see those changes immediately following the treatment. What we've been seeing uh, with this new technology that we've introduced here at Alpine Physical Therapy Uh, is a stellar response in many types of orthopedic conditions. I've seen great results with people who have chronic neck and back pain, uh, people with headache pain that's been going on for quite a while, 
to see immediate responsiveness to that. I've had patients who've had, particularly runners that end up, and bikers oftentimes, that end up with what we call an ITB syndrome or IT band syndrome. And if you don't look at the glute max, if that glute max is in spasm, you have tension immediately on the IT band because it attaches to it. So the glute max must be looked at. The tensor fascia lata muscle, TFL, attaches directly to the IT band. If you're not looking at those muscle groups, you're not gonna fix an IT band syndrome. So we, a lot of times what we're doing is we're needling the TFL and the glute max to get those muscles to relax and oftentimes we're, we're putting a needle into the glute medius muscle, not so much for a trigger point, but to recharge that muscle, to get that muscle to immediately turn on. And what we're seeing is immediate strength gains following the treatment to the point that they, sh they show normal flexibility throughout the hip. They show dramatic strength improvements that carry over into everyday life. That's just a prime example of how dry needling can work to improve the function in a muscle and overall uh, the athlete or individual. I want you to know that this is not something that's specific to the sport world, though it is taking the sport world by, by storm. Uh, we've also seen this in uh, effective in a, in a wide age range, uh, in a wide population of people with back pain, neck pain, joint pain, uh, muscle injury, muscle strain. As I mentioned, IT band syndrome, which affects the knee and potentially the hip as well. So you see lots of improvements that can happen and again fairly dramatically with the use of the needle. The fact that as physical therapists we now have a tool that actually goes through a muscle not just like massage or mobilization that can impact the surrounding portions of the muscle but to actually get through into the the challenged areas within the muscle and to see those immediate physiological changes that translate into improved flexibility, mobility, strength and overall function of the individual. So about a week ago, i um, not sure really what I did. Woke up one morning, part way through the morning with uh, a lot of pain through my back and glutes and um, originally thought I maybe did something serious, slipped a disc, something like that. One of the other trainers here, I'm a trainer here at the Peak, and one of the other trainers here recommended that I go see Brent for the dry needling procedure. Um, so Thursday I actually did that, could barely move, I mean I spent half the week icing my back and laying around and sleeping with pillows under my knees and could barely move. Um, walked in, Brent told me to put my feet together, try to touch my toes, I got to my shins. He did some manual manipulation and then after that we did the dry needling, same thing, had me get up, touch your toes, my hands were to the floor. Uh, it was amazing. It was, I felt a million times better. I felt, before when I felt like I could barely do a squat or bend over and pick something up, I, afterwards I felt like I could jump around and do cartwheels and that sort of thing. So I, I was blown away. I spent the weekend telling everyone I could about how cool and amazing dry needling is and how everyone should try it. Hi, my name is Jamie Terry and I'm a physical therapist here at Alpine Physical Therapy. Um, I recently had the opportunity to go to a Kineticore course on functional dry needling and that was three weeks ago and so for the past three weeks I've been using it clinically and I can say it has actually changed my practice a little bit. Um, the results I've been seeing have been pretty remarkable and they're pretty instantaneous and so it's a really nice tool for us to have in our quiver where we can do a treatment to a patient and then immediately see some changes and the patient can see some changes too and the changes can be with pain they can be with range of motion and with function because we put them through a function screen as well and um, I definitely use it every day and it's one of those things that people can be a little bit nervous about having needles um, taken through the skin and into the muscle belly itself, but I have yet to have a patient come back and not ask to have it for a second time. So I have been very um, impressed and surprised with the results myself. I have with me John Pru. He's an employee here at Alpine Physical Therapy, works as uh, one of our physical therapy aides. And uh, John, you were telling me about some neck pain that you had and how that was impacting. What was going on in your neck? Uh, I just had some tightness in the back of my neck here been going on for a couple weeks and 
nothing serious, but just some lack of emotion, range of motion. And when I did my evaluation and determined that we could do maybe some dry needling, what was going through your head? Because you probably haven't had that form of treatment before. No, I haven't. Um, I didn't really know what to expect. Um, I guess I expected more of a more um, pain, more of a sharp pain with the needles. But really, when you did it, I didn't. I could barely feel anything at all. Just a minor prick. Some people talk about like a deep, maybe crampiness, um, or just kind of a foreign feeling. It's a feeling they haven't had. I guess it would be kind of weird to have something in there that makes your muscle kind of twitch, like you felt. Yeah, exactly. It was it was a different feeling when you put the needle in there. You can't really feel it going in, and all of a sudden you can kind of feel a little muscle, um, a little twitch, and then it's. And then afterwards, you showed some better movement. Your movement mm -hmm. definitely improved. How did it make you feel? Just more loose in general, uh, more range of motion with my neck, side to side and, and up and down. If you graded your percentage of improvement, zero to 100%, zero, we didn't make any impact, 100% was like miracle cure. Oh, well, it was, we just did it, so I haven't had much time to kind of feel it out, but I would say at least, you know, 50% already, 60%. Coming out of some neck pain, yeah. that's great news. And I appreciate you sharing kind of that whole experience so that our viewers maybe you can get an idea of what, what dry needling might feel like because you, you talk about needles and sometimes people, they conjure up all kinds of ideas in their mind, but like you right. mentioned, it really wasn't that, that sharp pain type thing. It was more of that maybe a muscle activation, yeah. deep kind of crampiness like we would uh, probably expect. And I, I generally tell people, you know, after we do the needling, you could experience some, some tightening sensation, maybe a little soreness for the day. Mm -hmm. You're certainly, you know, um, free to apply generally heat. We talked about applying heat, and I know that's contrary to what people generally say. Uh, but in our training program, they mentioned doing about 10 minutes of heat just to kind of facilitate some blood flow and muscle relaxation. Um, and then generally what happens by the next day, people get, get up and they tell me they, they were expecting to be sore, mm -hmm. and they felt great. Exactly. Yeah. So, I just want to say thanks to John for joining us and sharing that important information with us. I want to direct you to our webpage on alpineptmissoula.com to ensure that you get additional questions answered on this new technology called functional dry needling. That webpage will be up and running along with this video and I also want to encourage you if you have other questions, please don't hesitate to call our clinics.